Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Our lesson today is on, is the function linear or nonlinear? Your objective today is that you will identify linear functions using graphs, tables, and equations. The question I want you asking yourself today as I go through the lesson, how can you determine if a function is linear or nonlinear? Understanding linear and nonlinear, we go back to what we know about linear equations in two variables, x and y. Remember our input and our output, our independent variable, our dependent variable. This is an equation that can be written in the form y equals mx plus b. This is slope-intercept form, reminding you that m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept of the line. To be a linear function, it's a function whose graph is a non-vertical line. Remember, a vertical line will fail the vertical line test and is not a function. So a vertical line is still a line, but it's not a linear function. A linear function has a constant rate of change, and that's why it can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m, our slope, represents our constant rate of change. A nonlinear function is a function that does not have a constant rate of change, so the graph will not be a line. Now let's go through some ideas on functions that may be presented to you. You could be given a graph, a table, or an equation and asked to determine if the function is linear or nonlinear. If you're given a graph and the graph is a non-vertical line, then the function is linear. If the graph has curves or segments, then it, the function is nonlinear. So if we have a line that is not vertical, it's linear. If there's any curves or segments, breaks in the line and change in direction, even though they're straight segments, it's nonlinear. If you're given a table, if the change in x increases or decreases at a constant rate, and the change in y also increases or decreases at a constant rate, then the function has a constant rate of change and is a linear function. Remember, determining the x increasing or decreasing by a constant rate and the y increasing or decreasing at a constant rate is finding slope. If there is not a constant rate of change, then the function is nonlinear. When we look at an equation, if the equation can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, so if you can solve the equation for y and it's written in this form, the slope x, a constant times x, plus b, a constant, which is the y-intercept, then the function's linear. If you cannot, or x has an exponent of something other than 1, the function's nonlinear. Remember, there's an invisible one here as our exponent for x. Now it's your turn. Let's use what you've learned, and I would like you to determine whether or not this graph is linear or nonlinear, and be able to explain why. Please pause. All right, here's our solution. This is a nonlinear function simply because the graph is not a line. We have a curve in here. We will eventually learn that this is a quadratic function. You will also see when you learn about these that the equation has an exponent of 2 on the x. Here's another one for you. Determine linear or nonlinear and explain. Go ahead and pause. Here's our solution. This is a linear function simply because the graph is a line. So we could look for our constant rate of change, our slope increases by 2, rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1. So my slope, or my constant rate of change, is 2. My y-intercept is negative 2. So I could write this y equals 2x minus 2 in the form y equals mx plus b. Your turn. Determine linear or nonlinear. Don't forget to explain. Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. This is a nonlinear function, 
Sometimes students get hooked up on this one because they say, well, this is straight and has a constant rate of change. And then this is straight and has a constant rate of change, but there's a change in direction. And this, what you would be for referring to for this is not a, the same constant rate of change as this. So because there is a change in direction, there's a break in the graph and it changes direction, it is nonlinear. This is an absolute value function and it's in the shape of a V. Your turn. Here's a table of values. I want you to see if it represents a linear or nonlinear function and don't forget to explain. Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. So here's our table of values. We're going to look for a constant rate of change. Negative 2 to 3 increases by 5. 3 to 10 increases by 7 and 10 to 19 increases by 9. So this is not a constant rate of change. It's increasing by varying amounts. So I could already stop here and say that it's nonlinear, but let's go ahead and look at our y. y is increasing by 2, 4 plus 2 is 6, add another 2 to 8. So this is a nonlinear function. And don't be fooled, although y is increasing repeatedly by 2, and you could see a pattern up here, but it's not a constant rate. It's not increasing, so it would need to increase if this was 5, then all of these would need to be increasing by 5. It doesn't need to increase by 2, like y. It can be a different amount, but it cannot vary. So therefore, we have a nonlinear function. If you graphed these points, negative 2, 2, 3, 4, 10, 6, they would not form a line. Here's another table for you. Linear or nonlinear function? Don't forget to explain. Go ahead and pause. Here's our solution. So 4 to 7 increases by 3, plus 3 to 10, plus 3, plus 3, 3 more to 19. Let's check y. 37 to 31 decreases by 6. Subtract 6 to 25, 25 subtract 6 gets me 19, 13, and 7. So this is a linear function because as x increases by 3, y decreases by 6. So this represents a constant rate of change. Remember, if you were finding slope, just a little review, it's the change in y divided by the change in x. So negative 6 divided by 3 would give me a slope of negative 2. So my line would decrease left to right. Your turn. Here's an equation. What do you think? Linear or nonlinear? And be able to explain. Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. So I am going to solve this equation for y. So I'm first going to isolate this variable term by subtracting 2 from each side of my equation. That brings me down to 6y, 24x, and 20 minus 2 is 18. Now, I want to isolate y. Solving for y, I'm going to do the inverse of multiply by 6 and divide by 6. That means I need to divide all terms by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, leaving me y. 24x divided by 6 is 4x, and 18 divided by 6 is 3, and there we have slope-intercept form. 4 is my slope, and 3 is my y-intercept, so therefore this is a linear function because the equation can be written in the form y equals mx plus b. Your turn. Here's your equation, linear or nonlinear. Don't forget to explain. Go ahead and pause. Here's our solution. This one's pretty easy. We have a variable term here. The x has an exponent other than 1. We have x squared. So our exponent is 2, making this a nonlinear function. And you would soon learn that this is a quadratic function and will form a u. It's a parabola. But for now, it's enough just to know that the x has an exponent other than 1. Here's one more for you. Go ahead and pause and determine if it's linear or nonlinear and explain. Here's our solution. 
So the exponent is not one, the exponent is actually the x. And actually this is what we call an exponential function. And it definitely is not a line when you graph it. This is a nonlinear function six, since x is the exponent and it cannot be written in the form y equals mx plus b. There you have it. That's our lesson on is the function linear or nonlinear. I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you'll come back soon and join me at the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time, and I hope you have a great day.